Mila and, and Linus Way. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Mila and I'm back with the 2017 MTV Video Music Awards. Um, Mila didn't really watch it. She was at work and then she was like, well, you know what? You can just do it without me. It really wasn't a big of a hoopla of a show. It kind of... It wasn't bad. It wasn't like over the top great. It was like good. And out of a 10, I would give it like a 7. Honestly, I like I'm not even talking about the performance, I'm talking about the whole show as a whole because like I did love Alessia Cara, Logic, Shawn Mendes. I did love them. Like I love their performances, but and Nick Minaj, of course, you know, because Nick Minaj is the best. As a whole show, it's just like it wasn't enough of craziness going on. I feel like maybe Katy Perry was trying to do the skits, and I already knew with her doing skits. It was like, eh, you know, it was okay. It wasn't too cringy, but it was okay. She was the host for tonight. And, yeah, the reason why I'm wearing this black sweater, if y'all wonder, because I'm going to put a picture up here. Chance Rapper came looking like a really good banana. And I'm like, yes, first of all, he's wearing my sweater in yellow. I don't even have a black hat to match with this. But he looked amazing. And I'm like, guys, I can't believe Chance Rapper is wearing my sweater, like the one I bought a few months ago. So I was pretty excited. I was pretty happy. So that's why I'm wearing this sweater. Also, I'm going to make this really quick. Tell you guys what happened. But yeah, I give it a 7 out of a 10. Katy Perry, she did an okay job as a host. She didn't overdo it, but she didn't really do it too much. Um, I kind of felt like maybe a little bit more could have happened. Like a little bit surprised. Yes, with some surprise like other than Fred Armisen and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah. Do not forget to go follow me on all social medias. And do not forget to go like and share and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment on this video. And do not forget to go check out our Vinted account. This is our username right here. Our Vinted Closet. So the link is be in the description below. So you guys can shop with us in our closet. So... Yeah. Also, yesterday was my 18th birthday, so yeah. Kendrick Lamar opened the show with Fire and Ninjas. Amazing. I love that song. Great performance, obviously. He won a lot of the. He won a lot of awards. He won Video of the Year, Best Hip Hop, and he won some more other awards, too. So, congratulations to Kendrick. I will put the link to all the other awards because they did not show most of the awards that they presented. I mean, most of the awards that was, you know, nominated and stuff, they didn't show it on TV. I don't know why. But I'm going to put that in the description below. We did have a little bit of drama on backstage live streaming. Terrence Jenkins, he was interviewing Remy Ma down under, on the underground, on the stage, when you backstage on a little live stream that MTV was having. Remy Ma said in the camera, Nikki was good. I don't know if y'all know back in, two, I think that was 2015, Nicki Minaj and the whole Miley Cyrus. You know, Miley was good. You know, I don't know what happened with that, but when I mentioned Nicki Minaj, I, don't, I didn't hear her say Nicki, but everybody said she Nicki, but I heard her say what's good, but like the way the video was, I didn't really get to hear her say Nicki. But anyway, Nicki did perform with Katy Perry. Katy Perry and Nicki Minaj closed out with Swish Swish. Nicki was amazing. Katy looked cute. It was a cute concept. I watched the Swish Swish video. It was okay. I love Nicki Minaj. I think Nicki Minaj do. She makes it... Uh, Nikki was slayed and she looked amazing when she came there. Ed Sheeran, he did, a, yes, with his acoustic. So he did Shape of You, you know, it was cool, it's late, you know, it's Ed Sheeran. Then Lil Uzi Vert come up. I feel like we ended racism with this performance. I'm just kidding, no. Lil Uzi Vert started singing Shape of You. And I'm like, okay. And he started singing X, XO Tour Life, Ed Sheeran. And Carnaby was like, and then she's like, a member now. Carnaby was like, oh my god, what? And then it just, it was. This could have been really iconic, but it didn't sound too well for me. Like, hearing Ed sing EXO Tour Lives, it just didn't sound too good for me, personally. I don't know about anybody else. It was a good concept, though. I love the fact that they did perform together, but it just wasn't there for me. So, yeah. Normani and... I don't know why I just picked up. Oh, no, Normani did a split. They, first of all, they won for... Best pop with down with Gucci Mane. Um, that's not the best song, but they did win. It was fan voted. Everybody is mad that they won, but I'm like, guys, they, Fifth Harmony won like last year, so they fans are doing something. The harmonizers they are doing something. After this, they performed and they performed down and they did like this cool little thing. And they, it was five girls. It was them and then one extra girl, but she like jumped off the back. And I guess that was supposed to be like Camila jumping from like the jumping ship from the group. Everybody thought it was shade and stuff. I feel like. They showed that, that was it, that was done. Nobody else needs to ask her, them about anything about Camila Cabello. Like, nothing. She's the only entity. They don't want to entity. Like, no more. Like, okay, we done with the whole Camila Cabello situation. She left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that she left. So, Gucci Mane came out with Keisha K.R., his fiance, about to be his wife. That was really cute. And I, I, the Fifth Harmony performance, it was good. They trying their best, and they are doing really good. Um, they look good. 
they always look good. Like this time this year, they came. They looked really good with their outfits. I feel like it fit them. It fit them. Like it fit their personality, and it didn't look like too mismatched. It fit them because now, like back in the day, you would see groups like dress all in unison, but now they dress in that's them. Like they because they own individuals. They just in a group together. So normally did a split. That was lit. Um, amazing. Baby Rexa was freaking out about that. Paris Jackson, when she had presented the Best Pop video, she was like, look, before I come and get into all of this, because everyone wanted to speak out on some stuff, before I get into all of this, she was like, look, we need to show these Nazis and white supremacist jerks that um, we are a nation and we're going to resist, okay? So she was like, in to pop Best Pop video right here. Because, you know, she really didn't care about that. She, you know, they really would talk some real stuff. So I appreciate that. And that's the same thing Cardi B did when she was introducing Demi Lovato. She was like, first of all, before I get into all of this, Colin Kaepernick, we stand with you, and we stand with you as a nation, and we stand it with you, okay? We're not going to let nobody not stand with you. And I love that Cardi B did that before she presented the Demi Lovato performance. I don't know if they told her not to say that, because she's like, I did it anyway. So they must have told her, you know, not to say that. But Demi Lovato did perform. She performed actually here on August 24th in Las Vegas because on this website I found to get casted in cool performances. I tried to do for Sean Mendes Unplugged, but did you get casted for cool performances? So we was here in Las Vegas and we tried to get casted, but it was too late. So she performed at the Palms and DNCE actually performed here in Las Vegas on the 24th at some at the Monte Carlo Summer with Rod Stewart. First of all, Joe Jonas got a freaking mustache. Whoop the fuck. I don't know what the heck. It's cute, I guess. I don't I don't know. It creeped me out when I first saw it. I was like, is that real boy? What do you what? But then I was like, you know what? It go with them. They look kind of they look different, and it's like they like this cool, different group. It's like I don't know. It's something about them that make them cool to me. Anyway, but DNCE DNCE performed with Rod Stewart. That was lit, and I thought that was really nice. Like Rod Stewart was still moving around and stuff. They performed his song, and um yeah, so. I thought that was a cool performance. Demi, Demi Lovato did amazing. She looked good. She sounded good. It was like Demi Lovato. She could sing so good, but she nobody really, nobody really pay attention to her good singing. They really kind of pay attention to her, like when she was saying stuff in the media, but they don't really pay, pay attention about her good singing. Like she can really, really sing. She's a great singer and she's really talented. So nobody really pays attention to that nature. She's really underrated. So shout out to you, Demi Lovato. Cardi B performed on the pre-show. She did Bodak Yellow. Cardi B is up and, up and up, guys. A lot of people got invited to the VMAs. Jay Versace, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia Michaels performed, and they freaking cut her off. I'm like, okay, she was nominated for Best New Artist. Khalid won Best New Artist, guys. I'm so happy Khalid won Best New Artist. You guys cannot, I'm so happy that Khalid won. First of all, I was voted from all, all, like, when you started, when it was first started to vote, I've been voted from, so I'm so glad. It was down to him and Julia Michaels, and they, Khalid won. I'm like, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. He got up there, he was like, oh my God, well, thanks, I shout out to El Paso. Uh, thanks, Mom, hey, what's up? You know, it was, like, lit and amazing, but Julia Michaels, congratulations to you for even being nominated. That's amazing. She's going to be on tour with Shawn Mendes also and she performed I'm like okay they just cut off her performance but whatever Adam Levine was upset about that also he was like okay y'all just gonna cut off the performance this VMAs was horrible but they cut off her performance I was kind of looking forward to seeing it but okay and then they cut off Kyle's performance I'm like okay like I am being high like I was looking forward to seeing that so what I don't know why they even cut I don't know what's wrong with them but and then um James Arthur I love James Arthur. They had a, uh, he was doing with extra gum. It was like a little special thing for the VMAs. He did a little performance, but it was like a commercial. I guess they didn't want to perform on an actual show, but James Arthur is amazing, guys. If y'all do not know James Arthur, you go listen to his album. His recent, most recent album is amazing. It's lit. It'll make you cry. Okay? Okay. Back to Khalid. So, the Logic performed, and Khalid and Alessia Carr performed together. So, Alessia Carr performed first. She did Garcia Beautiful. Yes, guys, I love Alessia Carr. She won, her and Zed won for Best Dance Song. Lit, amazing. I'm so glad to say it's my favorite song. I voted for that song so much. Alessia Carr performed Garcia Beautiful. She was like all dressed up and stuff. You know, she had like the, the wig on and like the fancy dress and she like ripped it off. You know, her dances ripped it off. They ripped it off a little too slow. I was like, move a little quicker. But they ripped it off and it was like a good like moment and she performed I really do love Lesia Carr. I like I really truly 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 like her whole album like she's just amazing. I don't know why like I really 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 like her. It's crazy. But Logic ended up performing and that was really one of the best songs ever. I'm gonna try to put up some pictures of what I'm talking about on the side guys. I don't know. But Logic performed and that was a really good performance. That it had suicide attempt survivors and suicide loss survivors. 
they was all standing up there on that stage. And I thought that was the best thing ever. Kesha introduced the performance, and, you know, she was getting choked up, and she was down to cry. She's like, look, y'all not alone. If y'all ever feeling alone, you're not really alone. We all in this together. And I just felt like that, that logic performance was amazing. He was like, I don't care if you're black, white, whatever color. I don't care if you're gay, straight, whatever. I don't, I don't care what your religion is. You know, we all, I want equality for all of you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what logic is all about. So... I feel like that was a really good performance. I'm glad that that performance was performed. I'm glad they didn't put that on like no side thing. I'm glad they performed that right there because that was a really good performance. So shout out to you, Logic. One of my, my favorite performers of the night. Got to stand. Another performer was Shaman. That Shaman has performed. He did. There's nothing holding me back. His voice is really raspy, and he was hitting them different notes, and it was really, really good. Big Rex and Kelly was so excited when they was dancing to it. I really like that Big Rex was really excited about everything because I was like, that felt, I felt that right there felt that. Oh, Taylor Swift actually won an award, too, with Zayn. They won an award. Um, I did not know Jack Antonoff wrote that. But um, Taylor actually video premiered Look What You Made Me Do. Guys, go watch that video. Go tell me what you think about that video. That video was wild, crazy. It had a lot of references. I, it was cool at the end when it was all the different eras of Taylor. And I just, I like that part. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about everything else. I hear a lot of conspiracy theories going on. I don't really know. I thought the end of the video was cool. All the different eras of Taylor. I don't know. Um, they kind of sound legit. I don't know if it's just a coincidence. That's a heavy bit of a coincidence. But, yeah. So, that's for another video. Um, <laughs> yeet. Uh, we had a lot of uh, serious moments also in the show. We, they, uh, Jared Leto, from, he was, he's an actor, I don't know if y'all know, Jared Leto's an actor, 30 Seconds of Mars. He actually did a tribute and a memorial to Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell. He said that they called him, you know, it's like, can you talk about them? You know, can you say something? Because he went on tour with him. So, you know, they, they banned, went on tour with them. So it was like, you know, he knew them. That was his friend. If y'all ever going through something, it's going to be okay. You know, you not alone. You're going to get through it. And he was like... Chester had the biggest light and he had the he he was he, had, he was passionate so he was like look he was passionate and then he showed uh the Lincoln Parks 2010 VMA performance and they played it but then they they played a commercial and cut it off they didn't play the whole thing, so people was mad about that. And I, I would kind of be mad about that, too, because it's supposed to be a tribute. And I really don't like when they do this, when they cut the memorials or the tributes off. It's kind of like, okay, you're just going to cut it off. Like, what else was you trying to show that you couldn't play that whole thing? But I don't know. I thought it was really nice that they showed that. But I don't like the fact that they cut it. I, I never like when they cut the tributes or nothing. I don't like when they do that. I just don't. Because it's like, what you, it's just a little bit of time. Jared Leto, he ended up performing with his band 30 Seconds of Mars with Travis Scott. That was really cool with the thermal cam. And their song was really cool. But when Travis Scott on it, Scott, Scott got on it, I'm like, okay. You can't tell me you got in the studio and you thought that that sounded good. I mean, it sounded lit, but then he just kept saying the same over again. I was like, oh. No, thank you. I, I just, I, I, after Travis Scott came out, I just couldn't get into it. I like Travis Scott, but it was just, the thermal cold cam thing was cool. I I just couldn't. I couldn't. Anyway, so Pink got the Michael Jackson MTV Vanguard Award this year. At first, I was like, you know, well, Pink, Pink is getting it. I was like, okay, well, why is Pink getting it? But then when I watched the performance, I was like, oh my god, I love Pink. I remember why I love Pink. But then I was like, I didn't, they didn't really go through like a full thing of, like Pink's accolades and stuff like they normally do. But she did most performances with my favorite songs. So what? I'm still a rock star. Like she did everything. Just give me a reason. She did everything. Raise a glass. It was everything in there. And she did her full whole like there's like four performances in one, like which everybody does, you know, for the Vanguard Award. And Ellen actually presented to her because Cher was supposed to give it to her, Ellen said, but then Cher couldn't make it. So Ellen was like, I, I guess I'll come whatever you know it's not like i'm not sure but i did get the presidential medal of freedom from barack obama hello but yeah so ellen came up there i really love ellen a lot and she came up there and you know i don't know pink sang ellen's theme song for a tv show so pink got up there accepted her award she was like hey look i want to tell you something one day when i dropped my daughter to school she was like hey mommy i'm really ugly because i look like a boy and she was stopped the car and she was like who, who, who said you was ugly? Who can I fight? So then she was like, no, because everybody said I look like a boy. And she was like, okay. So she took it back home and PowerPoint presentation was like, look, everybody called me, say I look like a man. You know, I'm too masculine. You know, all this and that, they sell this that stuff about pink. But I don't care. Do you see me changing my hair? Do you see me doing this and that? She's like, no. Do you see me selling out arenas? And yes, you do, little girl. So you don't have to change anything about yourself. She was trying to say, she's like, it's all these great androgynous artists. Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Prince. A lot, a lot of artists out there. So, she was trying to tell her daughter, you know what, look, don't ever change yourself, don't ever change yourself, don't ever change yourself. Because, you know, they all, her, 
her daughter and I don't know if that's her husband or not, but at, it's her daughter's dad, her daughter's father. They came in just in suits. So she was like, you know, trying to tell her daughter, look, don't ever change yourself. If you like what you like, you like what you like, you know, don't ever, you don't ever have to change. So I really love that Pink said that and she stood up there and said that, you know, Pink is always Pink and she always said what's on her mind and she do not care and I do love her. At first I was like, oh my God, wait, why she in the war? I, I, I really didn't know because they didn't really show her accolades and stuff. She, they said she almost sold almost 50 million albums. So that's a lot of albums. But at first I was kind of like, Pink, that's kind of crazy. I, it's kind of weird. I don't know. But then I watched it before and I was like, oh my God, yes, I love Pink. So I remembered why I loved Pink. Mm. Tiana Taylor came up there because Tiana Taylor did win for best dance video with Fade. Yes, I'm so excited. Congratulations, Tiana. She got up there and that's when she had presented for Alessia Carr. And Zed's thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeet, yeet, yeet. My size performed younger now. She is back. She, well, she's like, you know, making more. Like, she's making Miley music, you know what I'm saying? She's been making music like this. Like, I guess people are like, oh, okay, my size want to be like white again. That's what, that's what Teen Vogue says. You want to be white again because, you know, after the high and perp with some shades on. But, you know, yeah. So, but now she's like, you know, she's like Malibu and this and that. So, you know, she's, she's different now. I mean, not different now, but like, she's like, she's coming to her own and. She, that performance was was different. It was different. Um, comment if you guys like the performance. I do love my size. I think she can sing. Nobody ever really credits her for that singing because she really can sing, actually sing. Not a lot of you out here can actually sing, and she's one of the ones who can actually sing. So, I think that she does a lot of great stuff, and the performance is different. And yeah, I'm just like, girl, you go, girl. You know, Ed Sheeran won. Oh no, Ed Sheeran won Artist of the Year. I'm sorry, Kim Jong-un won Artist of the Year. Ed Sheeran won Artist of the Year. I was kind of like, what? He was like, is this, this ain't fan voted, is it? And it was like, yeah. And he was like, oh. Thanks. So then he left. I was like, okay. And then, yeah, I feel like everybody was shading Justin Bieber. Like, Katy Perry shaded Justin Bieber because, you know, the, the Despot season that he don't know lyrics. And then, B.B. Rex kind of shaded Justin Bieber when she was like, best new artist, like Justin Bieber. You can be along with Justin Bieber. And she's like, I'm like, I guess that because of the Despacito things or because he counts this tour. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, and another thing that happened tonight. So Robert Lee the Fourth. He's the descendant of Robert E. Lee, the guy who's a statue who got a statue. Everybody was surrounding around him because he was evil. He was like, look, I'm a, I am a pastor and I fight against racism. He was like, look, my family, we've been trying to fight against racism. Even when our descendants, who our descendants are, we still fight against racism. We do not believe in racism. He's like, look, as a a pastor of God, he was basically trying to say, look, we're going to follow God's light, and God's light said, love everybody. So that was really nice that they had him up there, and then he said we can look for inspiration about the um, Black Lives Matter movement, the Women's March, and the girl who actually passed away, Heather Heyer, who died, who got hit by that car in, Ch in Charlottesville, her mother came up there, she was like, look, we can find inspiration in what Heather was doing, so she's going to open that Heather Heyer Foundation by Susan Bro was her name. She had Heather Heyer Foundation and they're gonna do the fight against hatred. She was like, Look, I know it's Laya out there just like Heather that wanted to that's fighting this fight, that's fighting against racism. We can do this all together. And it was just amazing she got up there and it was like she was just like talking from the heart. You could tell it's not like she had like a teleprompter or nothing. It felt like she was actually really talking from like the heart. So I'm glad that they had her up there. And then she said the nominees for the best fight against the system and I guess they were supposed to show who won that but they didn't. So they just had her stand it up there for some reason. But I'm glad that they was she was on there. I'm glad that, you know, they put our foundation up there so now they said they're gonna give out scholarships to help out fight against this or fight against racism because like we got freaking white supremacists running around saying they white supremacists and that's dangerous so yeah i'm glad that they putting us on tv that was pretty much it guys i forgot to mention about laura's performance guys she had the flu and she did an interpretive dance and it was different okay all of, off the show Thank you for watching. My favorite performances tonight was Logic and Alessia Carr and Khalid. Those are my favorite performances. Um, I love Shawn Mendes and I loved Alessia Carr's performance also. And yeah, those are my favorite performances. Logic, that was really Logic. I love Logic. You know what I'm saying? I like, like that was my favorite. And guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to comment your thoughts on the show. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Was this your favorite show of all? Um, it wasn't my favorite VMA. No, I feel like it could have been a little bit more popping, a little more crazy stuff. Maybe Katy Perry didn't want to do all that crazy stuff. I don't know. But I feel like it could have been a little bit more surprising. But I don't know. But yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also, yesterday was my 18th birthday. So, yeah.